Hi everyone. So today I thought I will sit down and do a a story time with you one. I needed my coffee. Seriously, I was so hungry today. Just had a bit of work to do. And then I was discussing something with someone and then I thought, I don't know, not just this person, but a lot of people did ask me to share my moves match or those um, online matrimonial site experience um, with everyone like online make a video of it and then um, kind of like share your experience since I've been on those I've been on several apps to be fair on matrimonial apps since um, a very long time I'm not gonna say how long it's been probably let's just be honest I'll say more than five years probably more than five years and trust me it's a long journey it's been so I have come across bad, good, average, almost everything. I do have a bit of experience and I am still looking because I'm still single. Um, but that's a different thing. So uh, yeah, so whenever I talk about it here and then um, with my mates or someone I know, um, I kind of like, you know, when you see someone single, someone's looking and you kind of advise them, yeah there are options where you can find a partner or um um but then again you gotta bear in mind and you got to make them aware of the thing of things that you've been through or you've seen or you've witnessed so with me i always do recommend but i would always so i do recommend um matrimonial sites islamic halal ones um, but I would also tell them to be ca be careful and be aware of the fact that there are going to be both good and bad people. Like the users, you might come across someone so decent, so nice. Um, but on the other hand, you might come across someone who's might, who may seem nice at first and then show you the, the true, true colours. Um, so I have many many experience but today what I'm going to talk about is the main thing that's been happening it's been doing around for some time now like I'm sure everyone heard about this story um, that it's a true story something happened like this incident apparently someone let's talk about moose match there are many apps for example there's a uh, Minda which has been changed to Salam they all are halal marriage apps by the way but a lot of people do uh, do use it a lot of people think that they're not they're not a marriage app they're dating app because a lot of guys i would say let's just say guys they take it as in like they're not even ready for marriage but they will be all using the app just to find someone to pass time or you know to to be in a relationship other than marriage which is completely wrong i disagree no you should only use those app marriage app only if you think or you're ready for marriage okay but a lot of people do take it, they just use it as a time pass or whatsoever, that's completely wrong, I feel. Um, and it's unfair to others, though, to, to those who are genuinely looking to settle down and um, get married. But anywho, um, so I want to talk about today this incident that happened a few months ago. I heard, I'm sure a lot of people heard it was all over the internet, it was on TikTok, Insta, Facebook, all over the social media, even on TikTok, uh, Twitter. Um... That this girl, this user, I think she was talking to someone, so she she found a match on Moose Match, and um, the guy she was talking to said so that so they exchanged numbers and they went on a couple of halal um, meetings here and then, and they kind of like got there was a point I think she thought that okay that is a person and she kind of like had proper faith in him and this and that he made her feel like yeah that's he's the one for her and then all of a sudden i think he asked her for money and then it was a bit of naiveness of her to be fair um and i think she gave it to him so we don't know what the scenario was or what, what where he was telling what the situation was um i'm sure she was probably into him like he was she, she fell for him that's why she had faith in him he wouldn't do that to her and then she gave him the money and then guess what it, it ended up like he disappeared with the money so it was a scam bag um and that happened and that was very shocking so a lot of people did get really scared of the that incident a lot of people did say no i'm not going to be on social um match manual app because those ones are very very deceitful and these things does happen you can't trust people on them sites um 
true but then a lot of people like me like i say like me because i don't really do much like for social life let me say i don't go partying i do not go out unnecessarily um so it, a person like me does get hard to find a partner or someone i'm looking like a person you know to get married you need to go out you need to be there um if you want to find someone yourself and, and there are other options if you can get your parents relative involved on you can ask them to find you someone or oh, i'm sure they will uh, they're looking but then again it's a different choice it's a matter of choice so what you would want to settle down with someone of your parents choice or you would want to settle down with your someone with your choice so yeah so i'm still using these apps yeah i am on it but here and that i keep on going on and off because i haven't had so far i don't think i found the right person i'm not gonna say i'm perfect i i have become picky when when it comes to choosing a partner which is not right no it's not right completely if you are too picky if you're too choosy it's just going to be hard for you it is hard to find a partner anyway but it's just going to make it hard and um yeah so okay i have a so this is what this is an experience okay similar to this story that i was telling you about that this girl got scammed um i have a similar experience which i never told anyone not, not that many people know about it but my dad knows about it and um and I'm a person, even though I'm saying it, I'm not nice, I'm not stupid, I'm not dumb. Like, I think a lot, like, it's not easy to get to me or to scam me, if that makes sense. You can't fool me that easily, even though I'm saying that myself. You know me, you will know that what I'm saying is actually true. So, um, <clears throat> so this is experience. So let's just say this was about a year or two ago. So let's just put it as two and a half years ago. One and a half, no two or two and a half years ago um this incident happened so basically um i was that time i was on minda which is called salam now and i was also on uh Moose march so i was using both two uh, apps that time so um and i talked to a person at a time the one person at a time like i don't go on like speaking to two people or I'll, i if i match with more than one person i would just leave them on the side and i would just pick one and i will or whoever i match with me first i will start talking to them getting to know them first if this doesn't work out with them then i will unmatch them or that, that person unmatches me and then i'll go on to the next next person that has matched with me this is how i do it and i thought it's how it's supposed to be because it just shows you how loyal you are and then it just makes you not just even that it makes you your mind clear because if you're talking to more than one person it for a that just shows you're not loyal at all and secondly b it's just gonna put a lot of pressure on your mind that you're just gonna get confused to pick and then you're just gonna get confused when you told you to pick person like exactly that's just not that's just weird um so yeah so let's talk about this incident that took place two years or two and a half years ago so i was on um yeah so i matched with this person um yeah so we matched and then we both started talking hi hello they said the basics and then he said the next day that day he um enabled he enables the call there's a there's a cool cool about uh, okay moose match has this thing now um feature that has you can call the person and you can also video call that person like directly now without giving them your number so it's on the app you can do that so that person enabled the cool um feature and so so first i was like mm, okay let me just take my time and then and then i eventually enabled it too accepted his request he wanted to call me and then i just say that i can't talk today to, because it's getting it's getting late and i can't i've got other things to do so i probably might talk to you tomorrow i'll speak to you tomorrow then the next day we he called and i spoke to him i gave him a time he waited this and that so he waited so calmly so i was like okay that seems nice um and then he's like um yeah so we spoke on the app and he was like um this app is so crap um apparently he couldn't hear me at my voice properly apparently my voice was echoing and then he suggested um why can i give him his number my number to him and then obviously we can head over and chat on on the phone and or on whatsapp so i was like okay fine fair enough um take my number i gave him my number and then we started talking um he met his site messaging on whatsapp i started replying this and that and then we spoke we chatted um and then he called me on my phone and then we spoke more we were trying to get to know each other um this and that he was a bit more direct to what marriage was which was okay because i was actually looking for someone who was serious about marriage um 
so I was in a way I was like yeah, um, that's just some his sounds more like a marriage material something someone that I'm looking for um like he's not he, I felt like he wasn't into like wasting time so he was straight into marriage and this and that yeah I want to get to know you so if everything goes fine I'd like to involve my parents how do you reckon I'm like yeah that's what I want as well like I would like to fine fair enough um uh, I would maybe meet you one or two time and that's it and then we can talk on the phone and get to know each other see if we're compatible this is really important and then we can obviously maybe within a month or something we can involve if we think that everything's going fine smoothly we can involve our parents Asa um and then obviously we can go on off from there and he agreed and everything like um and then everything seems so on point here yeah? but i was a bit like having a bit icky because he was a bit more like clingy like to be fair because i i am a like i'm more matured i have passed my teenage age he was just like a year older than me by the way so we kind of like were in the same thingy but then i feel like he was a bit more clingy than me because i when i say clingy is like he's more like messaging 24 7 if that makes sense she just wants to know me what i'm up to and i'm like you know what i like my space i don't like doing that like chasing the, your, the other person like all the time oh what are you doing and every every minute you have to message that per message that person and uh, find out what that person is doing it's just a bit too much clinginess um and that's just too tacky so i was a bit more that was icking me i'm not gonna lie but then i felt like okay now he's otherwise he was fine so i was like okay fine whatever let's see have a go and see so two for two days we spoke and then we were messaging each other from day two he started talking about dowry and stuff like marriage things like oh you have you is your family um financially um ready for marriage you do know that you've got to spend a lot and he was like yeah and he was talking about himself like he needs to spend apparently he needs to buy um, my outfit this and that and apparently we have to buy him his outfit i'm like dude yeah but i was in my head i was like i do not want to be too blunt and rude so i was like uh, dude wait a minute just take a bit like chill pill relax like you're just rushing it like well, let's talk about this thing later on let's talk about more important thing but anyways um yeah so he just started talking about them stuff and weirdly and then he was like he did ask me he asked me do you have savings i was like mm, do you have savings and um, sure who doesn't have savings this and that any and then he said yeah he's got savings and first day he did say that he doesn't have a proper job he used to work in security but then he left and then he works in a restaurant do i have a problem with that i'm like no a job is a job it doesn't matter if you work as a restaurant or you work as a clean road cleaner doesn't really matter to me I, um unless you're at least you're earning um obviously if i was to become your wife and then um i leave my job or decide that i want to work obviously it's his responsibility to provide uh food and everything for his for his wife so if your kid okay if you could provide me food and everything then that's fine i mean i don't mind whatever you work as all that's matter. um so yeah um and then all that happened like we were like fine going really good and then the third day so I was at work and I come, I come home and he messages me. You no, know, he calls me like a crazy. I'm like, calm down. I'm busy. And I just got home. He me texts me, texts me, and he goes, that, um, he had an accident. Apparently, he's in a A and E. He's in a hospital with his mate. He's injured. I'm like, are you okay? Showing my concern. I'm like, okay, blah blah blah. And he's like, um, yeah, just my danger. And can you do me a favor? I'm like, yeah, go on. What is it? What do you want me to do? And then he was like, um, can you um help me please? Um, and then he's like, um um he was gonna tell me on the phone i said like, i can't call you now so just message me whatever it is oh my god this video is getting so long and he's like um i had an accident i don't have enough money in my card and my card does not have um uh, the card reader apparently this card doesn't have a card reader or something i don't know and he goes uh in fact would you if you could work or help him with some money i'm like that clicked in dude i just only started to know you for two days we haven't even met yet and you're asking me you're asking me to help you with money that's so dodgy okay okay if i was in his place and i did explain it to him like that i didn't say no that I, I asked him questions like okay why do you need it for and he said that he needed to away his car he needs to pay them and i was like dude on the first day of our talking he said that he doesn't drive he lost his license and then he goes that he needs to away his car they should say that he's doing away his friend's car. If it's his friend's car, why does he need to worry so much about the money? Why can't his friends ask his parents and stuff like that? So, anyways, ask him, like, why don't you ask your parents or your family to help you? And he said, like, he couldn't get on hold of anyone. Um, that's just so weird. Like, he's got sisters, brothers, mom and dad, and everyone is so busy that he can't even call them and they're not even picking up phone. That's just so unbelievable. And then I just gave him a example, like, 
don't mind, but I, this is what I literally said. Like, clearly, I still remember. I remember the thing, okay? I have a very sharp mind. I go to him like, um, um, listen, um, don't mind me saying this, but if I was in need of money and I was, ha I had an emergency, I need the money, I don't have enough money in, on me. I, the first people I would contact is my parents. If I can't get a hold of them, then I would contact my sibling. If I can't get a hold of them, I would contact my aunt, uncle, rest of my family members. Yeah, if they can't help me, or let's just say everyone is poor, have no money at all, then I would go to my close friend, someone I know at least more than five years. Let's just say as more than five years. Yeah, I'll go to them. Give me some money. I won't ask. I won't be asking you. Someone I just started talking to like two days ago. Just two days. This is the third day. Haven't even met face to face. You are asking me to give me. Uh, I wouldn't be asking you. Give me money, bruv. I have no money. I need it. It's just so crazy. It's so dodgy, illogical. And I'm like, yeah. And then he goes. He was just like trying to pressure me, and that's not gonna work. You did it not. Dude didn't know that this won't work with me. And he was like, oh, just say yes or no, you, will you help me or no? I was like, no, sorry, I can't. I don't, I don't have that, like, I can't, you can't expect me to trust you like that with money. Money is a big thing in life, okay? Um, but I still asked him, how much do you need? And then he got 450 or something, 470, I don't know how much it was. And that's not throwing away a man, by the way. I did Google at that time, and that, the amount, it's supposed to be 200 something, like towing away or car, I don't know. That's a bit too much. Anyways, I wasn't going to help him anyways, money especially, without even knowing who he is really. Um, and then he was like, um, <clears throat> he was trying pressuring me like emotionally, oh, this and that, like, this is my heart, blood money, you got to understand that I just met you, I can't really, I can't, I don't even, I haven't even met you, I just started talking to you, how can I give you money like that? What, what's the guarantee that you're going to return it back? He was like, I'll return it back soon I go home. I'm like, what is the guarantee? You might just disappear. Who knows? I can't. If you ask me to help you with anything else, I could probably. But money, mm, mm, but money is a big thing, actually. It's all hard to earn you, okay? Money doesn't go on tree. My blood money, I can't just give it to anyone like that. If I, just say if I knew you for more than two, three years, and I know your characteristic and everything, okay, this is what this type of person you are, or someone like, okay, I have fully faith in, I can trust that you, then probably I would have thought of, you know, but I just met you two days back, and there are, there are stories that's happening, which is really scary about scamming and from that. I explained to him, look, this is what happened on News Match, and you can't just expect me to fully blindly trust you like that straight away. And then he got really upset, and he was like, what, well, so you're not going to answer? Sorry, I can't, I'm so sorry, but I can't. And then he got really annoyed. Like, okay, fine. Keep your money to yourself. As if I'm not going to give my own money to myself. Like, that's so stupid. I did not I did not respond to that. But what I did was, obviously, I'm not stupid. I took a, a screenshot of everything. The conversation we were having on this, regarding this whole thing. I go on to Moose Match and I report him. I didn't block him. I did not say to him a word that I don't want to be with you whatsoever. I'm ending this. I didn't say anything to him, but I took a screenshot and I report him on Moose Match. And I, did, I clearly wrote that this is something that happened on Moose Match earlier. I've heard the incident and it seems like this is another. So we got to take action. And I hate crime and I hate criminals. Um, Yeah, so I sent the evidence and everything to Moose Match. And um, from there, it went like... yeah from there it was like um yeah so i did not block him with him but i feel i feel that time i i noticed something I mean, he blocked me on with match he didn't i don't know whether he blocked me on whatsapp because obviously he didn't have a display picture anyway and his time timing thing was off like i don't like guys or anyone gen in general that's just my opinion who hides their timeline timeline is it timeline what is it called you know the timing thing that you have on whatsapp like what time you were last seen i hate it i do not trust people who who hide their timeline i mean i feel like it's just so dodgy like why do you have to okay if you are a type of person who are online in on um on the wrong time like let's just say after midnight you're online and you're just worried people are gonna you're just online in general. There's no point in hiding. If you meet someone, if you're talking to someone, why don't you, why wouldn't you want that person to know that you're online? I know it creates curiosity and stuff like, oh, uh, girls can be like, oh my god, you oh, you were online. I do understand all that. Um, maybe you're talking to someone else, this and that. To avoid all that, yeah, I know you can be doing that. But then again, for on the other hand, imagine you're just being so pure and this and that. But then on the other hand, you're hiding your timeline. It just shows, again, it kind of gives you that 
thingy that oh my god you are trying to hide something probably so i can't really talk to her who's hide their timing i don't do that personally like i would not hide my i'm sorry i'm just looking for something i was gonna do did i just where did my damn uh... anyway this video is gonna be too long and i don't want to bore people but this is my little story which took place on snapchat and um i'm actually i'm so happy that i did not fall for it i wasn't gonna i knew myself i don't do you know what i'm a person um i have a trust issue and i'm so glad i do i don't think it's a bad thing because we don't need to tell today's world you should not trust people so easily because anyone can break your heart um anyone can break your heart even though i've never been on dating i never been in a relationship thank a lot of that and i am so proud i never been in a relationship i've spoken to people guys for marriage and all that that's a different thing but i kept everything halal but it's so easy to fool me so this is a video i thought you know what i'll share my experience and you know a lot of people or a lot of girls you know don't get me wrong i don't want to be like a gender bias in this but not just boys i haven't experienced it myself but i feel there are going to be girls too who are into scamming business like if i came across a guy i'm sure there are guys who do come across girls who are there for on using on those apps just for money to scam people i'm not too sure but i'm sure there are because girls are not decent these days either i mean it doesn't matter what gender you are people do have evil mind the evil ones don't see gender whether it's a girl or boy the evil ones just happen to anyone so this the video is just to make people aware that you know these things do happen and stories like that they're not they're not fake um completely people do exaggerate sometimes but it's not a fake story i don't have anything against this much because i am still using the app and they are really generally gen genuinely they are um like i've reported so many people not for like this incident but i had other incidents as well where i felt people were being rude guys were being rude to me when i unmatched them when i told them that um okay i'm not interested there are there's, there are people who do can't take rejection handle rejection so they do become and they do come to you like really badly so i have reported them and i've been a person who's been reporting here and then not just small issues i mean like you know big ones and i think snap uh Mismars always have been they're um, solving problems like that and i'm sure they will solve this one i haven't, I haven't had an update from them but i'm sure they did do something about it um but in general girls boys men women just be if you're single and you're looking for a husband or to settle down or you just in general you're looking for a partner on matrimonial sites yes you do look and be real be honest but then again don't be so naive don't be so don't show your foolish no okay if you're naive in general that's not, that's not your fault actually if you're like someone who is gallible you just get thing like just gallible like in general like you you believe people easily that's just that's what a gallible being gallible is um that's not your fault that's just how you are that's just how nice you are pure you are um but just be careful don't trust people especially when it comes to money when the word big thing comes money do not trust people because there are people who are who will take advantage of your niceness so just be careful and especially meeting someone talking to someone getting to know someone does not mean you know them completely okay like it's not the same as you know your parents or your siblings it's not the same thing okay because you're still knowing them you don't know whether what they're showing you to you what they're telling you are uh, is true because you don't know that so please don't trust anyone blindly and especially when it comes to money if someone asks you um um give me this much money or whatever do not give them money do not give them money ask questions you have right to ask questions um but yeah okay i need to okay i'm gonna end this video because this is 27 minute long and it's just not gonna let me think of this uh film this anymore longer anyways guys this is a video i know it's a long video but this is a video too just to let you know this is happening and just be careful and yeah so move much salam minda um shadi.com there are so many uh pure harmony 
I don't know, there's so many actually. There's just so many. But uh, let me tell you, when you meet someone, um, go with someone you know. If you can't take anyone with you, the, this, this is me actually. There's so many times I can't, couldn't take anyone with me, so I have to go by myself. But just keep it halal. You you got to keep yourself halal. Just keep it halal. Remember, you're Muslim. Don't forget that. And just, just, just be yourself. And yes, but be careful. Stay alert and think okay in every single thing think every single thing think wisely okay just before you do anything you got to think and then have faith like have faith in allah allah always gives you a uh, a target he always gives you a sign okay now this is not right this is not always have that faith in allah he always gives you a sign like something is about to happen not right or something is about to happen is right so that anyways guys adios and i hope everyone's having a nice summer and enjoying life and praying for everyone oh uh, i will see you in my next video take care bye bye peace out